so it is time for upgrade with the new galaxy s22 ultra i was actually thinking to get the fold 3 but in the end this one cause of course because of the the amazing camera i mean yeah the fold has a huge uh, folding screen but in my opinion i think the camera is more useful nice little box and there it is nice and shiny i got the green one because why not <laughs> mm -hmm. very nice not too big not too small yeah a lot of cameras Start it up. I mean, um, the main feature of, of this phone, on my in my opinion, is uh, of course the camera. I mean, sure, the display is great, like. Uh, some samsung has done for a while battery 5000 milliampers but the periscope 10x optical zoom is in my opinion at the moment king there's nobody else doing that let's see Dutch English. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Skip. So, in the box we also get this little SIM key, okay, and, okay, power cable, some manuals which nobody reads, and that's about it, I should get some Galaxy earbuds, but I guess they'll come later because they're not from, they're actually from the telecom provider. So, yeah, really nice, fits well in the hand. Mm. Let's test the camera. So, it's been two days, I've been testing this bad boy. Um, first thing you have to know, this is not a small phone. It's more like a small tablet or a phablet as they call it. Uh, screen is great. Uh, you can really feel the difference between 120 hertz and 60. Um, quality build is great. Battery is good. 5000 milliampers. The only thing that kind of bothers me is the fact that they moved uh, the pen from the right side to the left so because most people hold it in the left hand and use the right hand to write so it's kind of tricky to get it but I guess it you can get used to it um, I don't really play games but I've installed one so you can see it's really smooth Now, the most interesting point about this phone is the camera, of course. Now, unlike other producers, 
Samsung actually makes uh, professional cameras, DSLRs, full frame. So <clears throat> now I've been working as a photographer for a few years and um, they claim that the front camera is 40 megapixels and the back camera is 108. Now, for a phone, that would be more than amazing. Um, so you have the ultra wide, you have the 1x, you have the 3x, and you have the almighty 10x. Um, now, what Samsung is doing, they release a great thing like 10x, which is unseen in uh, phones. And it's great, but why would you have to top it off saying that you have a 100x space zoom when the rest of it is actually digital zoom, it's not optical zoom. So in my experience as a photographer, optical zoom is not real zoom. It's, it's basically a marketing strategy. I mean, they should, have, they should just say, hey, we do 10x optical zoom it's great it's amazing it's more than others it's enough you don't have to exaggerate and the same is in the case of the cameras unfortunately I mean don't get me wrong the cameras are great um, but I would say the back camera is more like 18 maybe 20 megapixels in realistic terms and the front one maybe 12 great build great quality um, now if you want to turn a 10 megapixel or a 20 megapixel uh, um, image into a 100 megapixel image sure you can do that with some software see what I mean you don't really need uh, a sensor to do that but if you want to be honest about it then it's not really the case so this is probably the best camera I've seen in a phone and I like it it's great uh, but if you know something about photography you'll know this is not a realistic 100 megapixel camera um, except that i mean i like it it's a great phone um some people were saying it's getting hot when uh, doing stuff on it yeah uh, it is getting warm it's not getting hot uh, gone are the days when uh, you know uh, samsung's were uh, super heating up and resetting by themselves and uh, that was like five years ago now um, but then again, you tell me which phone doesn't get warm when using it. <laughs> so I would say um, Samsung have done a great job. So in conclusion, um, it is a really good phone. A bit on the big side, but if you're tall or if you like big phones or tablets, then it should be okay. Uh, a bit heavy but then again it shows quality and it does have a big battery um, I really have no complaints about it uh, I would give it a 9.5 overall or 4.5 stars the only thing that, bo that bothers me is not the phone itself but the marketing which claims uh, it has more megapixels than it actually realistically has. In my opinion, it uses uh, a clever software to enhance that and give the impression of something which is not. Uh, having that said, the cameras are really good and I think they're better than uh, the ones uh, competition uses. Um, 
So that's my only thing, Samsung, why do you have to brag about something which is already, if not the best, but very good? Like, it's, I don't know, it's a bit weird. I hope they change that. I mean, when, when I buy a phone, I just wanna, okay, it's got 10x optical zoom, that's what I wanna see on the, on the box, you know? Except that it's a great phone, I do recommend it, uh, surely, if you have uh, $1,500 or uh, 1,200 pounds in the UK. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Have a nice day.